Hi, welcome to the Total Connector Show. It's about all about total Bitcoin, total freedom, total decentralization, total freedom. Um, the reason I'm doing this video is uh, because someone asked me on Twitter to make a you know sort of a short review, like a personal experience with um, in connection with the Wasabi Wallet and the Samurai Wallet uh, uh, and the you know the and uh, Peril the the Samurai Desktop Whirlpool uh, application, um, and I, you know, I consider myself as a layman. I mean, I'm I consider myself as a measurement, as the standard for you know for the empathy, uh, for the required necessary empathy for all the people out there, you know, who are either totally clueless, who are you know have no clue about Bitcoin, have never heard me maybe even about it. Or who want to use it, or who want to buy it, who want to store it, who want to hodl it, but you know want to know all about it, all the knowledge, information out there about security, about storage, about you know uh, what's the first steps, what do I have to take care of, what do I have to be cautious about, um, privacy, <laughs> about uh, fungibility, so that you know one satoshi, one bitcoin, whatever. Is you know is uh, exchangeable, is fungible. There's no you know uh, there's no trackability. Uh, there's no uh, censorship. There's no uh, whatever or potentially at least you know all these things. So so let me just you know go over my uh, you know experience or whatever uh, personal interaction I had with or, or problems or questions I have. I've had with uh, Samurai Wallet, with uh, the, uh, the mobile uh, in connection with the desktop Whirlpool uh, that is sort of paired with one another and the Wasabi Wallet. So let me go straight into that and uh, see if I can come up with you know some intelligent uh, questions and comments. And I reserve the right and privilege to ask uh, uh, stupid, naive uh, questions. <laughs> And uh, you know, say say things that you know, uh, you know, the experienced uh, Bitcoin user, or, or especially the technical ones, uh, uh, you know, uh, might be you know might take might take it for self granted. But that's you know, if, if this is okay, this is very important before 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 I start um, my review, is that. You know, my sole intention, my my mission, sort of, as I see it, is um, uh, yes, to educate. Uh, that's why I'm doing this my podcast show on anchor.fm slash Kevanavani. Well, please, by the way, like it, share them, and support me if you, in any shape or form you can. And I have a mute, my YouTube channel where I cover a broad spectrum of you know scientific, technological, and other uh, aspects about scientific fraud. You know, uh, so um, but my Bitcoin, uh, my 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 uh, Bitcoin and Austrian economics podcast, uh, you know, is it's just about Bitcoin and Austrian economics. So yeah, so let's go dive into that. And uh, uh, if if we truly want mass adoption, then we need to make all these applications, all these, you know, break down the language, break down the terminology, and it's about user, easy, cheesy, user friendliness, all right? And and if we truly want, um, uh, you know, monetary root layering with Bitcoin, mass adoption, we need to break things down. We need to have much more empathy with, with the masses out there. We're talking about 8 billion people, all right? I My mission is that every human being, by the year 2000, at least 2028, if not by 2024. I know it's unrealistic. Maybe you know, no, it's pretty much unrealistic. But let's have a, like a, a target goal, and that should be like by the year 2024, uh, approximately four billion people having a handful of satoshis. All right, a handful of satoshis. That's all I'm asking for. That's all what I'm wishing for. All right, let's go into let's go into the Wasabi wallet. I hope I'm not disclosing anything privately because, you know, it's always like, all right. So 
uh, yeah, I mean, this is the Wasabi wallet. You can just, this is great, you know, I mean, just you can just download it, it's for free. And you, uh, and I've just tried it today, uh, sending it from my, from my exchange, from my Kraken exchange to uh, Wasabi. So there are some like functions or buttons or features that in my opinion um, should be more self-explanatory and more intuitive. This is the key, all right? And so I've added this, um, I don't know how I did it, but I just added this treasure and I thought it's, it's sort of directly, I can directly link it with my treasure once I, you know, once I add the treasure receiving address into the uh, into the um, Kraken um, um, withdrawal uh, function, that it would automatically send it to my treasure address. But that's not the case. Uh, this is just I don't know. I because I, I, uh, it says here. Let me see. Uh, let me do this. Okay, I gotta be careful here because I, I don't want to disclose. Um, all right, so here receive, so I can generate, you know, over and over again uh, a new receive address. This is the coin join. These are some of the functions and buttons. I, uh, you know, I have I have questions like, okay, now if I have something like that and and um, you know a, a certain um, a specific amount of satoshis, uh, and and I want to have you know, so, okay, so that's privacy clusters. What does it mean? Like, like these things should be more explained in a, in a, you know, by, by, by professionals, by people like you guys uh, who are into, you know, uh, coin join and, and, and programming. And uh, I don't, I'm not even sure who, who is supposed to explain that, but it needs to, it needs to be somebody who is, pedagogically um, uh, skilled in explaining things in a very intuitive way, all right? So there's this, you know, uh, boxes that you can check, select all, select all private, select all non-private. So when I send, so once I send my Satoshis from my Trezor wallet to my Wasabi receiving address, uh, in this case, it was the Trezor uh, receiving address, but I'm not even sure why that generated automatically once I added it. So, all right, let me, let me, okay. This is my history, of course. Uh, this is a not sort of uh, 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 encrypted sort of. Um, all right, so this is coin join. Um, and it says here, okay, status minimum 0 0.1, blah, 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 0 0.1055, blah, blah, blah. BTC is required to be queued for coin join. Coordinator fee is 0.003% per anonymity set. This is uh, where you can, this is also, I need, you know, uh, that would be great if you guys can explain that. What does it mean? Anonymity set 50, anonymity set 2. What does it mean? All right. Uh, is that the average? Because that's, the, I guess, the default anonymity, uh, an, an anonymity set 21. Um, okay. And then in the in the display or in that line uh, down there, it says Tor is running, backend is connected, peers is eight. That's, I guess, the the, the current Bitcoin price of 11,213. Uh, dollars would be great if we if we can just if people in the European uh, area EU uh, area could just switch to euro that's my feedback and then it says here coin join it says hard wallet hardware wallets cannot coin join what do you okay what does it mean do you mean like 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 in my case I sent my satoshis for my tr for my for my Kraken account to my to this uh, to my receiving address in Wasabi, and then from Wasabi I send it. Uh, I don't want to you know show this. I show my uh, whatever private data here, and then from from Wasabi I send it pretty easily. Yeah, it was easy. Okay, I just you know I I went into the uh, send, all right, and I put the receiving address 
on my treasure and um okay it doesn't matter i'm not going to use it anyway but um All right, this is this is stupid. All right, this is really stupid. Um, okay, so anyway, um, I'm gonna have to cut this out. Um, so yeah, so it should it should be here. Um, it should say here like label labeling should be optional. I mean, it is optional, but it should say like optional. Because when I hover around it, it says start labeling today and your privacy will thank you tomorrow. And then, yeah, great. I mean, you can just, you know, uh, uh, if you go on maximum, you you take all the Satoshis or whatever Bitcoin you have uh, and you you put it into the this box amount. Otherwise, you do it manually. Confirmation expected in 20 minutes. So it gives you an average uh, fee of, a, in this case, a dollar nine cent. You can, you know, adjust your fee. You know how fast, how you know how slow you want it, how immediate you want it, and then send transaction. And then it went up. You know, it went through pretty, pretty instantly. I saw like the unconfirmed confirmation at least on my Trezor transaction. Um, so there are some things that I think should be more intuitive, especially for yeah, I'm a layman, you know, I mean, I, I'm the standard measurement for the layman out there, for the masses out there. If they want to, you know, make use of the privacy functions, you know, security, privacy, fungibility, coin join, all these things, please, you know, make an instructional video uh, or make it easier. I don't know, or make some things maybe by default easier and then some optional things for the more experienced user you know should people just want to do a very easy thing they want to send it they want to make it private make it more fungible make it more non-trackable you know and, and secure the privacy and just you know send it for tr from trezor because that's what i thought i thought if i send it to this address to my sort of trezor receiving address it would um it would uh, automatically show up in my uh, you know in my whatever uh, transaction on trezor automatically but that's not the case uh, and i don't know why oh that's why this is coin uh, hardware wallets it cannot do coin join yet i'm not sure this is these are all the questions i have really just uh naive maybe even stupid questions but i reserve the right and the privilege to ask stupid questions, you know, say a bunch of, you know, na uh, naive things that might, you know, seem stupid or uh, whatever, or, or naive for, for the more experienced or the more technical guys. But this is, if we want mass adoption, we need to make it really, really easy, user-friendly. That's the key. That's the key. All right. Uh, so yeah, that's about it. Um, otherwise, I don't know what else to do with this advanced functions, wallet info, build transactions, broadcast transactions. Uh, guys, you, you really, you need to make a video, go through like step-by-step step all these things and, and really, you know, um, be more em empath empathetic and, and put your, you know, put your brain into the shoes <laughs> Of a, of, a, of, a, of a layman, all right? We talk about the masses. We, I, we want mass adoption, all right? We want more people use these feature functions. We want it more, you know, easy, cheesy, user-friendly applications. All right. So, all right. Um, so that was uh, Wasabi as far as I can, you know, I mean, it, it worked. It worked. I, I At least it worked. I, I sent it from my... For my Trezor address to my receiving ad uh, for my Trezor, for my Trezor, I send it to the receiving address on Wasabi. From Wasabi, I send it to the you know I just inserted the, the receiving address of my Trezor, and I generated new address of course, and and there you go. All right. So um, yeah, and um, and I always use you know every time I use a new address on Trezor, that's everybody should do that. 
but otherwise, you know, there's a lot of buttons, functions, uh, and, 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 you know, boxes that you have to click or not click, you know, select private, select non-private, select all private. These are the things that, you know, should be really more intuitive, should be explained in a instructional video, really step by step, and maybe even do a, like a Q&A session. Uh, I'm really, really willing to do a video with you guys. Please, uh, you know, uh, Twitter me up or, uh, you know, DM me, private message me or whatever, or send me an email at katie at kvandavani.com or whatever. In, in one shape or another on social media, just contact me, please, and let's do a video together. And um, and you really, and, and, and let's do this, uh, let's do an educational session out of this. All right. So that was uh, Wasabi. Um, now let's do, um, yeah, the Whirlpool, the Whirlpool. Uh, where am I here? All right, uh, Whirlpool. Okay, okay. Can you see me now or not? Um, let me see if I can enlarge in this. All right. Yeah, sorry about that, but uh, I want you guys to see this whirlpool. Okay, so so I got a samurai wallet. All right, I got a samurai mobile wallet, and I and I you know so I managed uh, that's that's easy. All right, so I I, ha I even had like 10, 20 euros worth of of satoshis or Bitcoin or whatever on my mobile wallet, samurai mobile wallet. Great product, really. Easy cheesy, you just you know enter your pin, you open it up, whatever. And then I uh, sometime uh, just recently I downloaded the Whirlpool uh, Samurai wallet on my desktop. All right, so that uh, you can uh, you know sort of uh, what do you call it, launder <laughs> or whitewash, I don't know, or make it more you know and 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 do uh, you know a coin join sort of or or. Uh, pull around the all the satoshis you have and it's paired all right so i managed finally to create that uh pairing whatever you want to call it a code and once you download the whirlpool samurai uh on your desktop it pairs because you 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 have to copy and paste i don't even know how i did it but i finally managed to copy and paste out of my mobile wallet um into the um into the whirlpool all right. So these are again uh, some of the things that I need to um, um, uh, understand, or uh, everybody needs to understand. What does it mean? Like, okay, last activity. All right, deposit. These are the deposit that you have made, probably. Okay, zero mixing, zero queued. It's, it says here, uh, premix, postmix. Um, Okay, so this is this is like uh, the pools. So it tells you the name, the denomination, the minimum deposit you have to make, the whirlpool fee. So it's very transparent, I guess. The configuration. All right, I I I tried even activating the enable tour, but then it didn't work. All right, it couldn't fetch the configuration once I enabled the tour. So I don't know. These are very, you know, uh, a lot of uh, detailed question. What does it mean? Like if I have the VPN on, VPN off. Um, um, uh, and finally, you know, I managed to, uh, to, to turn the, 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 the tour, uh, this button off. What does it mean? I thought the tour is already enabled automatically. So these are the things, you know, what does it mean? Like default mixed targets. Can you please do a video? Like really go step by step. Do it. Again, more intuitive, more you know, pedagogically, educationally for the layman out there. We want mass adoption, all right. We need to break down the language, the barriers, you know. The, uh, uh, the it's just you know, people don't have the time. I mean, they they want they want it. It's like the internet. You go into an internet, you you know, you open up the browser, you just use it. You know, you don't have to you know every time. Okay, maybe you do once or twice, maybe this and that setting, but it's very intuitive already. All right, so. Please, guys, you know, uh, uh, send me a message. Let's do a, a, a video. Uh, let's do a, a Zoom session. Let's do, you know, a video and go step by step. And uh, otherwise, yes, I, I managed to to deposit sort of the, because um, uh, that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to do, you know, whatever Satoshis I had, I wanted to send it to my treasure. So, yes, I managed that. But then I had to up 
because it was so slow, I had to uh, jack up the, the fees while it was in transition already. And um, uh, so I deposited it, I, uh, and then I send it from my mobile wallet because it's paired, I understand that by now. So I send it to the address uh, by, QR, by QR scanning, uh, my Trezor receiving address. And then, yeah, and then it went off pretty smoothly, pretty fast. And yeah, but then um, it, it, uh, I had still like two transactions, uh, which were the fees. I, and I, you know, I couldn't understand why all, all of a sudden I have like two, uh, I had like one, whatever, if, like if I go and send on my mobile Samurai wallet, it says, okay, available amount, available Satoshi to Bitcoin or whatever. And um, so, yeah. Um, um, I don't know. It needs to be more intuitive, guys. I mean, uh, yeah, at the end, I managed to send my Satoshis from my Samurai mobile wallet to my Trezor receiving address. Yeah, and then it got, you know, unconfirmed first and then confirmed. So everything, you know, went clean and, 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 uh, and, 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 and through. But these are the things that really we got to be more, have more empathy. Uh, if if that's our collective wish to have more, you know, to facilitate, to uh, to accelerate, to speed up this process of education, of knowledge, of comprehension, of uh, of, of of easy user friendliness. All right, of of uh, that every human being should have a handful of satoshis. All right, and then start, you know, sooner or later we're all gonna start transacting. Okay, from a store of value to a medium of exchange, a medium of account. Mass adoption. We want mass adoption. I want mass adoption. All right. And I know there's a process to that. And that's why I call myself the total connector because we need to connect the dots. We need to connect, you know, all the people, uh, uh, whether it be the Austin economists, the cryptographers, the programmers, the coders, the, the wallet makers. We need to bring everybody into the boat and really understand uh, one another. We need to, you know, make a flow. All right of knowledge, education, comprehension goes, uh, goes beyond understanding. So this is why we need to connect the dots. Yeah, so yeah, sorry to, uh, you know, to jump from one point to another, but uh, it's, uh, I have a lot of questions, all right? And, uh, and I'm sure uh, the people out there uh, whom I'm explaining it to, they are much more, by order of magnitude, much more confused, all right? They would never do this kind of things. They would just, you know, you know, they would just, I mean, they, they people don't even, you know, uh, generate a new address on the, on the Trezor. Uh, I mean, th this is easy. These are the, like the things that we need to take care of first. All right. Uh, okay. That's about it. Uh, gentlemen, uh, ladies and gentlemen, and um, please get in touch with me. Uh, and uh, we need more women in the Bitcoin space. I think that's also my opinion because they speak a more intuitive, more, more empathic, empathic uh, more compassionate language. Uh, you know, they can maybe uh, break down things a little bit differently. So yes, I'm more for more, for more feminine intelligence, more feminine language, feminine educational approach. All right, uh, please. Uh, Tell me what you think uh, if I've, you know, uh, uh, transferred or what do you call it, uh, transported my language, my, my, my problems, my issues, my questions, my comments, my, you know, whatever I have um, to you in a clear, uh, uh, you know, important is that you understand the essence of my message and what I'm trying to do here, right? We need mass adoption. All right, and it, it's all about understanding, knowledge, education, easy user-friendly applications, and intuitive, um, you know, uh, uh, interaction. All right, my name is Kevin Navani. I'm the total connector. It's about total Bitcoin, total decentralization, total freedom, total censorship resistance, and um, yeah, total evolution. See you. Bye.